Hello and welcome to Power Tracks 2012. In this video, we're going to check out some of the exciting new features added in Power Tracks Pro Audio 2012, as well as some of the new features that were added in Power Tracks 2011. Power Tracks is a fully featured digital audio workstation. You can record up to 48 audio and MIDI tracks. You can mix the tracks, add audio effects. There are also powerful and unique features such as the Audio Chord Wizard, which automatically and accurately figures out the chords from MP3, WMA, or WAV audio files. The TC Helicon Vocal Harmonizer to add harmonies or pitch correct your audio tracks. And Real Drums, which allow you to instantly generate audio drum tracks that are real recordings of drummers. Not single drum hit samples, but full recordings lasting 1 to 8 bars. Right now we're listening to one of the files from Jazz Multitracks Volume 2. If you buy or upgrade to the Power Tracks Multipack, it includes two volumes each of blues, rock, and jazz multitracks. Each multitracks volume includes 30 great jazz, blues, and rock songs recorded by top studio musicians. The songs are wave audio recordings provided in multitrack format with each instrument on a separate track. You can use the multitrack songs to familiarize yourself with mixing and mastering techniques and conventions or just use them for your listening pleasure. We're going to use them right away to show you some exciting new features in Power Tracks 2012. Right away you might notice a new horizontal master output VU meter on the main toolbar. This is now visible on the screen at all times with a clipping indicator. You may also notice new solo buttons on each track. You can now solo tracks or even solo multiple tracks by clicking on more than one. The mute buttons have also changed, now displaying an M instead of a check or X. In this song, for example, you could mute the soloist and try recording your own solo onto any unused track. Or, if you're a bass player, you could mute the bass and record yourself playing along with this. There's also a handy new effects button, which launches the dialog to choose VST audio effects or MIDI synths for the track. This is a much faster method than previous versions. I'll open another PowerTrax file to demonstrate some other features. This file was created by importing some of our breezy jazz funk reel tracks from Band in a Box into PowerTrax. You can easily import tracks from Band in a Box into PowerTrax by simply dragging and dropping them in. Or, you can do the same by simply dragging in tracks from Windows Explorer. And of course, you can record your own tracks as well. Another thing you may notice as soon as you start using Power Tracks 2012 is the added color in the Tracks window. Having different colors, rather than all being drawn in grey, makes it much easier to distinguish tracks from each other, as well as making clearer where specific events are located. This feature was added in Power Tracks 2011 and has been enhanced further in Power Tracks 2012. You can now apply a custom color for both the foreground and background for a track or for all tracks using right click menu items, current track event colors, and default track event color setup. For example, I'll change the color of the electric piano solos track so that it has a green background. We can see that the track now stands out because of the new color we've given it. This can be useful if you're going to be doing a lot of work on a particular track. For instance, if you knew you were going to be doing a lot of editing on the soloist track here, this would be a great thing to do so your eye is always drawn to that track, improving your workflow. In addition, the audio edit window now shows these custom background colors too. This is useful because you can tell in a glance that the track I have open for wave editing is this track right here in the tracks window. Another new addition in Power Tracks 2012 is that chords are displayed in the audio edit window. In the chords window, a new bar button has been added to launch the settings for bar dialog. And reset bar and reset all bars buttons have been added, allowing you to quickly remove settings. 
sticky buttons on the tracks window like the snap, lock, and zoom hole buttons will display font in bold when pressed in, making it more obvious when they're selected. Mixer effects buttons now will appear pushed in if there are effects applied to a track. And we can see that the electric piano is using effects, just a little bit of PG distortion. New hotkeys have also been added. For example, in Notation, Control-Shift-N toggles through the different notation modes. Navigating your way in the Tracks window has become much easier and intuitive with PowerTracks 2012. If the mouse cursor is over the Tracks Overview section, using the mouse scroll wheel now zooms in and out. In the past, it scrolled up and down through the different tracks. You can, of course, still do this by doing the same thing over in the left area. There are some other new features that make navigating easier. For example, when you use the horizontal scroll bar in the tracks window, the screen is now redrawn as you drag the scroll bar, not waiting until you lift the mouse. Navigation hotkeys have also been added. Control, numpad, plus, and minus to zoom in and out, as well as shift, numpad, plus, and minus for zoom selection and zoom hole. These hotkeys also work in the audio edit window, and this means that making minute changes to audio is a lot quicker and easier. I'll stop here. Now for example, say I heard a note that I wanted to change in this soloist. With the hotkeys, I can quickly zoom right in. Now say I wanted to change this note. I could then use Shift Numpad Plus to zoom right into that selection. I could fine tune the selection so that it's just around that note. And then I could right click and transpose just that note. In this case, I don't want to time stretch it, but I just want to pitch shift it and I'll try going up five semitones. It just takes a moment to process. Now let's zoom out and check out how that sounds. For stretching and time shifting like this, PowerTracks now uses the Elastic Pro plugin, which provides superior stretching quality. You can even now quickly and easily stretch your whole song. For example, if I wanted to change the tempo of this song from 75 beats per minute to 90 beats per minute, it's easy to do, and new with PowerTracks 2012, a confirmation dialog no longer pops up requiring you to press OK. It just does everything for you. And you are also now able to save a highlighted region or an entire track of a song as WAV, WMA, MP4, or M4A either in the track menu or by simply right-clicking on the tracks window like I'm doing here. Things are smoother now when you first run the program. For example, no warning dialog is displayed if no MIDI drivers are installed. A less intrusive yellow fly-by hint message displays instead. The program no longer needs to show a checking sound card function when being used for the first time. This speeds up starting time. And when PowerTracks is run for the first time, it automatically hooks up to Coyote GM Wavetable if it's present. Of course, you still have the option to select any other default synths. There's a new Video Help button, which launches a web page with many PowerTracks video tutorials at www.pgmusic.com. Using ASIO with multiple programs at once is now possible with PowerTracks 2012. If you're playing audio via MME rather than ASIO, and a track contains volume changes, these will be heard at the scheduled time rather than with a delay. 
as happened in previous versions. In the track menu, the merge command now has an option to always merge to audio. When right-clicking on a MIDI track, Auto Convert MIDI Track to Audio Track now has the ability to convert to the same track. You can see that in this clip here, the MIDI is on track 1, but I'm having it convert to audio and stay on track 1. Some yellow hint messages can now be clicked on to perform the action. Questions asked when songs loaded requiring a response are now changed to yellow flash messages that don't require a response, but can be clicked on if you want to do the function. If you have the notation window and the guitar window open, pressing the note plus and note minus buttons will place the note on a different string for guitar tab or on-screen guitar display. This will work if the MIDI guitar was recorded on channels 11 to 16 for the different guitar strings. We hope you enjoy all of the fantastic new features in PowerTracks 2012. Have fun!